you just tell us your name and what you do as an artist? Tell us about yourself, basically. Okay, so first up, my name is Ish. Second up, in terms of my artistic practice, I use visual vernacular or VV. And then thirdly, in terms of my work, I run a company called Deaf Scope. That's the name of the company and that's what I do primarily for work. Yeah. And then in terms of my artistic practice with visual vernacular, I've been doing that for quite some time now. And I should probably explain a bit about what visual vernacular is. It's a very visually strong, visually predominant art form. Um, it's not a language per se, it's got no grammar. Whereas BSL, British Sign Language, does have its own grammar and syntax. It's very different from visual vernacular. And I always say that visual vernacular, you can get much more in depth, you can get much more detail with your facial expression and the way that you use your body language, the way that you use your limbs and your legs and your hands and your movement and your gesture and so on. It's an expressive art form that one can really receive through one's eyes, as you would guess from it being called visual vernacular. And it's a way to, I guess, take in information through your eyes to create a beautiful concept within your brain. Amazing, thank you. Um, That's okay. If you could tell us a little bit about this particular visual vernacular piece that you've created for What Words Are Ours, so what your thoughts were when you made the piece, what themes you were responding to when you created it. It'd be great to hear your process. Okay, sure thing. So the story that I've been exploring in my most recent visual vernacular piece, the one that you're gonna share the video of, is called A Hero's Legacy. And that's the sign that I'm using for that. And I guess it's quite a sad story. It's quite a sad topic. It's an exploration of war and wartime. And this idea came to me um, and was something that I really just wanted to express through the medium of visual vernacular. I was thinking about the emotion that maybe underpins a wartime story. I use the motion of the emotion, sorry, of tears and the impact that that has on people. The story that I try and tell in my piece is physicalized. Um, so you might say it looks realistic. It looks like you are actually in that place and in that time. <laughs> 